Hi, I'm here at the Farnborough International Air Show with uh, Shul Mazur of Bird Aerosystems. We're sitting in the uh, Citation uh, CJ4 MPA. Um, previously, we uh, talked about the um, Sandcat fitted with the MSIS at Eurosatori. Could you please uh, tell us how this differs from uh, the Sandcat at Eurosatori, please? Hi, and I'm happy to be here again and introduce you to another segment of the ASIO solution. Uh, if we presented in Eurosatory the Sandcat, which is the ground segment of the task force, the airborne task force, we are now seated in the CJ4 ASIO solution, which is the airborne segment, which complements uh, the offering as a total task force approach. And what you will see here in this uh, unique solution is uh, the cooperation between Textron, who is the manufacturer of the CJ4, and Bird Aerosystems that brings in the mission system and converts this civil aircraft into uh, maritime patrol aircraft with very advanced capabilities. And how come you chose to uh, fit the MSIS to a Citation aircraft? The CJ-4, according to our professional understanding and mission analysis, provides very unique capabilities, both in the fact that it is a, a jet aircraft, which allows you to travel much faster and reach the area of interest uh, much quicker. On top of it, this is a civil platform that has been uh, used by hundreds of customers around the world which allows it to be very easily maintained with a lot of maintenance support capabilities around the world. The price of the platform is very attractive and the overall performance is such that it makes it a very unique uh, aircraft in the sense that it can carry all the sensors, it can do very full missions, but still be very easily maintained. What we can see here, this is the ASIO workstation that includes the mission system that is fully developed by BIRD. It is divided into uh, two screens. On the first one, we can see the multiple sensors that the system is integrating, starting with an EOIR picture, SAR radar, and AIS information. And on the bottom screen, we see the mission system that displays all the information collected during the flight and prior to the flight. What we can see here is the location of the aircraft and the target right now that we are investigating. This target was prior to the mission red flagged by the OSCAR system as a target that has something different or something suspicious about its behavior which means that for example the AIS characteristics were not fitting the way the, air, the ship uh, is, uh, looks or it's sailing in the wrong area and accordingly we took off and now we are at the midst of the flight we are looking at the target as you can see here and all the information collected from the multiple uh, sensors are attributed to the target and immediately transmitted to the ground segments which are naval ships and the ground command and control center now, when a maritime patrol aircraft takes off, there are potentially thousands of uh, ships or potential targets that you'll be looking for. How do you uh, distinguish between them? Excellent question. And one of the, I think, the key differentiators between the ASIO system and any other system is in the fact that we are able, with a unique feature that is called OSCA, to find that needle in the haystack and to find those ships which are of, are of interest to allow us to have a very effective mission uh, when this aircraft takes off. This is based on uh, receiving a lot of open source information from uh, AIS satellite information, uh, SAR information, and information collected during previous flight. All of this is analyzed by our OSCAR pre-flight uh, application which eventually uses a lot of artificial intelligence ruling algorithms to flag out those suspicious targets that are doing something which they shouldn't have been doing 
which means they are sailing in an area that is not allowed to be sailed. There is an issue with their AIS transmission. Their owners are uh, a flagged out or a blacklisted company and another uh, and a lot of other rules that eventually from those thousands of targets allow us to find those very few designated targets that the next step will be to take off and investigate them further. And uh, what specific missions do you have in mind for this aircraft? The ASIO solution uh, can perform multiple missions starting from ground surveillance maritime patrol, border security. Uh, in the Foreign Bureau Air, Air Show, we are concentrating on the maritime patrol capability. We see this as something which is in extremely high demand around the world. The piracy, the illegal smuggling, the terrorist threats, all causes many of the countries around the world today to look for such a solution. And the fact that we can offer it on a civil platform that is easy to maintain and it's a very cost-effective solution just adds uh, the interest to the customers and make them much more accept uh, much more willing to accept these type of solutions. Uh, sure, Mazel. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you.